So we say goodbye to Camilla Hadland and uh, we welcome the Olympic and world champion Alex uh, Gregory. Alex, great to have you uh, on board for the last few races of this afternoon as we uh, head towards the Thames Challenge Cup here. Go! Worcester Rowing Club against Molsey Boat Club. Molsey Boat Club on the left hand side here. It's an event uh, that Molsey really are focused on. They've been putting a pretty strong crew into all of this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I rode for Molsey back in 2003 in this very event. So there's quite a... Quite a Brings back memories then, huh? Yeah, it does. And look at the size of the Lewis Thorpe and stroke his shoulders. They're absolutely massive. In this Molsey boat, you know, there's four juniors, which is, which is great for rowing and great for Molsey Boat Club. Look, if they can be in this event and compete in this event as they are at the moment off this start, then they're going to go, they're going to go a long way in the club for many years to come. So just take you down the, uh, the Molsey crew here. Uh, Eleanor Willis uh, is driving this crew out towards the barrier. And the barrier is, is typically around the quarter or so. It's 600 metres, it's oh, just over uh, the quarter. But psychologically, as you taper into the regatta, you do a lot of barriers. You do to the end of the island, the end of Temple Island, and then you go to the barrier here. Clear water already, Molsey Bow Club. Uh, Eleanor Willits uh, driving the crew, Lewis Thorpe at stroke, Phil Elton at seven, Jonathan Broadset at six, Rob Sherry at five, Oliver Ayers at four, Will Johnson, Luke Gowland up there in the sharp end is Will Stewart at the bow seats. This part of the race is the end of the start really, so now they're relaxing onto their rhythm and, and look like Molsey Boat Club here are really relaxing, you can tell, they've got a lead, they can now just sit on that row like they've been practicing for months and months and relax and enjoy it so i have to ask you alex so you know say you were in an eight coming down the uh, regatta which you may or may not be doing later on in this regatta what are you doing at this part here what's going to be going through your mind well if i'm in the lead which moles is at the moment then i'm relaxing and just concentrating on the guy in front making sure i'm doing exactly what george who sat in front of me is doing but if you're not in the lead, you're under pressure, you're just fighting and you're fighting and you're pushing as hard as you can to get back on track, get back in the race. And this is the beauty of Henley, it's tight. A small, sl uh, if you're not quite fast enough at the beginning of the race, then it's a struggle to come back. Um, and it's a tough race. It's, it's, 2, 000, it's over 2,000 meters long and uh, it's a long way if you're not up. These Worcester boys at the moment will be killing themselves for this race. This is everything to them. So we're coming up to halfway mark. The Forley, through now, by over clear water, considerably. Molsey Boat Club, known back at base as the Black Death. Uh, so that's what they sort of, you know, they're kind of in terms of, uh, of talking themselves up here. And there's such a great close knit uh, group. So. Uh, we say hello to everyone uh, out there, all the members of uh, Molsey Boat Club. It's a really good club to be a part of, and like you say, it is really close-knit and tight. This crew, I don't think, I think it's sort of their third-ranked crew in, the, in Henley, or out of all the crews entering Henley. So for them to get through the first round, I'm sure they'll progress further, but this is a great performance to start with for them. So at this point now, you're clear, Alex. You've got, uh, which you may or may not be on the Germans when you race at the, uh, if, you, if you get through to the final of the Grand Challenge Cup here. You're clear, you're sitting a length up on Germany. What do you do here now? What are these guys doing out in this race? Well, I would be saying to myself, don't catch a crab. <laughs> if you catch a crab, that's the end of your race. But it is just focusing on what you're doing and what you've practiced on. And, uh, and you know, anything can happen in this beautiful course. It's treacherous, it's dangerous, there's washers coming all over the place. The booms are solid wood. Okay, these guys have got coxes, but if you're in, in a coxless boat, it's, it's really difficult, and I hope to never steer, have to steer myself down the course. We rely on people like you, Gary. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm around. I'm available for you guys, okay? <laughs> I am available. So don't tell Phelan. Okay, back watching now. Molsey Boat Club uh, looking at pretty solid. This is uh, Worcester, though, who are struggling here in this uh, heat of... Look at that's the distance that we've opened up here. Give us a, an insight, Alex, of how important Henley means to these guys, to you, still active, still out there. What's it like these days being out at Henley? Yeah, Henley is one of the 
only opportunities as international athletes, you get to race on your home soil, on home water. And for national athletes, for club guys, this is everything. This is what you spend 12 months preparing for. Probably six, seven days a week, every day, through the winter, dark months of the winter, where you're in pain every day. And it's hard to imagine what it's like out there in the sun, in the heat like it is today, but this is what it's for. And, and these guys, this means everything to them. And, uh, and it's, it's, it's nice to see this Worcester crew. I hope they're enjoying it. I'm n I know they're not at this point. I know they're not enjoying it. It's, it's hell when you're racing like this in so much pain, but they'll look back on this race and have fond memories eventually. Down the course towards the uh, finishing line and uh, Henley Church, that is a historic part of the skyline here. Such a good view, isn't it? That's is what one. we think of with Henley. Yeah, when we think of Henley. So, Mosey Boat Club having uh, done the uh, job well, you can see, look at the, the, the race, the number of strokes that they're taking per minute. Yeah, they're, they're cruising. It's so relaxed, so easy. They're saving energy for tomorrow and the next day, however far they get, and they're just conserving energy. TJ Gibson uh, just calling his guys in there now again, just long and loose there. You can see Worcester Boat Club still on it. The heads are down. Compare and contrast. Mosey Boat Club heads up. Solid paddling along the enclosure. They know they are safely through to the next round. Appreciated by the crowds. Always a great feeling to come through with clear water behind you. Club, winner of the Thames Challenge Cup opening heat. They are through to the second round. Just, uh, Rowing Club just come over again. Well, it was valiant, but it wasn't to be. They were outclassed and outpowered.